In the previous Pi ATS and Genie getting started video, I did mention that you could use the Genie functionality in your own Python scripts. So that's what this video is all about. I'll show you how to get started using that. Let's go. It's time to dig a little bit deeper into our Pi ATS and Genie journey by talking about how we can use it within our own Python scripts. But first, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you want to grow your IT skills and your IT career, definitely hit that subscribe button and the little bell. It's free and then you'll be alerted when new videos become available. All right, unit testing. If you haven't checked out Ben Finkel's content on CBT Nuggets yet about what unit testing really is and why it matters, I'd encourage you to pause and check that out because that's really where Pi ATS and Genie come into play. They're a tool that Cisco has built for us for testing our own changes in the network before it actually happens in production. It's also an amazing tool for monitoring changes and telemetry, tracking things. It does so much. And if you didn't check out my getting started video, that's going to be a pretty important part to following up on this video. So a couple things there to follow up on. I know there's CBT Nuggets content to really understand the big picture, as well as the getting started with Pi ATS video, which we'll link below in the description. But now we need to start talking about how we can use Genie within our own functionality to talk about how we can make decisions on our own. And I like the idea of importing Genie into our own Python script and then parsing some data out into JSON that we can use within Python. Let's go. Back in the saddle again on my Ubuntu machine, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fire up my terminal real quick and I'm gonna jump back into my virtual environment where I had Genie up and running. We'll go into documents, then Genie, and I'll fire up my virtual Genie environment with source bin activate. There we go. Now I can see I'm back in my Genie environment. Now what I want to do is I actually want to build a Python script that can interact with this Genie stuff. So let me go full screen here. And from within the environment, I will say nano my genie.py just to give us something to start working with here. Nano knows this is a Python file. and We'll get some context sensitive help when we work with this. Immediately what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna import the testbed environment library from Genie so that way I can interact with the testbed YAML file that we generated in the last video. I'll say from genie.testbed import load. This is gonna be the load function that we use to load our YAML file. So now I can create a variable called testbed and use that load function to load the YAML file that I located in the YAML folder. This testbed variable comes with properties associated with it now. For instance, it will be able to parse out each individual device that I had in that testbed file. So if I want to pull out that specific switch that I wanted to work with, I'll save that in a variable called device, and I'll say testbed.devices, and I'll parse it out with an open bracket, and then the host name of that device. Now in order to open a connection into this device, all I have to do is call the device.connect method. Just like before, I wanted to run the command show version to quickly show that we could parse that data out into a structured format. But we couldn't really work with it before when we just ran the genie command, could we? Now, in this case, I'll be able to store that response in a dictionary object. So I'll say response equals, to set a variable called response, equal to device, then the parse method. So I'll say device.parse, and then I'll specify my show command, show version. And just to quickly wrap this up, I'll print this response out to the terminal. That's all I need just to do a little hello world demo of how we can use this in a Python environment. I'll say control X to exit this file. Yes to save. I'll leave the name the exact same. And now that I'm back on the terminal, I'm simply going to run the Python interpreter specifying the mygenie.py file that we just created. And look at that right there. The very bottom here shows you the exact output right here where I printed out show version as JSON. But because I also ran this with the connect module, it actually showed me the entire connection statistics and output too. So we can see how it connected when it ran the actual command itself. And ultimately that it did grab the output of show version, parsed it to JSON, and then we could use that in Python, in this case, just printing the output to the terminal. 
Again, getting started with PyATS and Genie really isn't that bad. Typing this code up in Python was only a few lines for us to leverage Genie's parsing ability in our own Python script. So again, I'd really encourage you to dig into that documentation as well as the links and videos I mentioned earlier. So that's getting started scripting with the Genie library. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. I'll see you in the next one.